Um, so circles. So before we start with the chapter, a lot of questions, you will have to use the concepts from back in grade nine. Okay, so all the theorems that you learned about chords, uh, radius, angles, and all of that, uh, you will be like, you won't have to prove that again, but you need to know those theorems so that you can use them in these questions. So we'll start off by recapping grade nine ka stuff about circles. Okay. And most of this, you guys only will be saying this. Anyone stuck somewhere, then I'll correct, like I'll step in. But you only manage this first. Okay. So first theorem, like, okay, let's say you have a circle called the center O. And let me draw some things like, Okay, what is AB? Chord. 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 Okay, awesome. Now, I draw M here. Okay. So, if I say M is the midpoint of AB, then what can you then say? Then OM will be perpendicular to AB. Very nice. Yes. If M is a midpoint of AB, then OM is perpendicular to AB. Is car reverse? Like if I draw OM such that it is perpendicular to AB, then? It's the midpoint. M, M is, is the midpoint. midpoint. Yes, AM equal to MB. Uh, that is one thing. What else can I say? Okay, let me draw a second chord. This is CD. This is N. Okay. Uh, if AB equal to CD, then? OM is equal, OM to, is equal to OM. Absolutely. OM is equal to OM. Huh. So equal chords will be at equal distances from the center. Uh, and absolutely, this reverse also will be true. Like if A, B, C, D are chords such that O, M equal to O, N, then? A, B is equal to C. A, B is equal to C, T. Yes. Nice. All right. Now we'll come to the next set of this thing. Let's draw another circle. Again, I have chord A, B. So the terminology uh, you guys should know, right? So if I draw chord AB and if O is the center of the circle, uh, what is angle AOB? Angle subtended by the chord at the center. Yes, angle subtended at the center. And uh, angle subtended on the circle, what will it look like? Or can you tell me what is the angle? So it is huh. ACB and the theorem is supposed to be that angle subtended at the center is twice at any other point. By the same chord. So you can't take random yeah. angles. Yeah. So it should be by the same chord. So in this context, angle AOB will be equal to twice the angle ACB. Okay. Mom. Yeah. The theorems that we have this year, like about the tangents, do we have to prove those two? Yeah, like again, subjective paper may likely that you may get one theorem. So you need to be able to do that. Okay. Also, what else can you say about uh, angle C and angle D here? They both are equal. Equal. So all the angles subtended by the same chord will all be equal to each other on the circle. Yeah. So angle A, D, B will be equal to angle A, C, B. So these are all some of the things you learned in grade nine. Uh, oh, you have one more bit about cyclic quadrilateral. What do you mean by a cyclic quadrilateral? And even that angle in a semicircle is 90. Huh, so a that would come from... A circle. Oh, good. Yes. Understand in the previous one, if a 
angle is drawn under line AB, that would also be same to angle AD, B, and ACB, right? Which one? Uh, you mean like this? Uh, yeah. It won't be. So it should be subtended by the same chord on the same arc. Like on okay. the same side of, in the same segment, basically. So, you know, yes, no sector segment. So all the angles in the same segment will be equal to each other. Okay. Uh, coming to cyclic quadrilateral, how do you know if a random quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral or not? If the opposite sides sum up to 180, 180 degree, then it's opposite. a cyclic coordinate. If what should sum up to 180 degrees? Opposite Opposite sides, angles. Angles, yeah, don't be confused. Yeah, so if opposite angles are supplementary, so sum should be 180 degrees, then that means it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so these are like the main theorems we used. Um, in order to solve like problems from this year, uh, if you, yeah, like if you're just aware of these results, because you'll be using them, equal chords kahi pe to hoga, ya fir angles equal proof karna hoga, so somehow or the other, you'll be using these. Okay. All right. So this year, we're going to learn about secants and tangents. What do you mean by a secant? Ma'am, can you wait on the previous screen for a minute? Yeah. Uh, are you noting this down here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yeah, let me know once you're done. Then we'll start with the new stuff. Dhruv, why are you in the same class as Aditya? Uh, no, miss. Not in the same class. No? Okay. Elena, what about you? Miss, but I have texted. Oh, but you have texted? Seen. Okay. Did he reply? Did he mention anything? Miss, he hasn't seen it. Either. Oh, okay. Devya seems to be having some network issue. Done, ma'am. Done? Cool. What about the rest of you? I like, should we, should we move forward? Yes, ma'am, move forward. Okay, true. Velina Neki are done. Anirban also said yes. Uh, Puneet and Mansi? Yeah, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, what do you mean by a secant? S E C A N T. It intersects the circumference of a circle at two points. Absolutely. So any line that intersects the circumference at two different points. 
So that would be a secant. So in this case, it's basically the extension of a chord. Ha! I just chord is a line segment, a point se dusra point. But if it's like a line that that's like passing through the circle, then that's a secant. So this is a secant. And then you have another thing called the tangent. So tangent kya hoga? Line which touches the circle at only one point. Yes. So tangent is also a line that's also going its own way. But instead of going through the circle, it is touching the circle at only a single point. It's not touching at two different points. Uh, so can you ever get a tangent that lies inside a circle? No. No. Why not? No, because no. if it lies inside, then it will become a secant. It has to touch at both points. Correct. Yeah, it has to touch at, like, if it's inside the circle, so if it then, you know, coming in and going out, like, though, it, then it intersects at two different points. At that point, it becomes a secant only. So tangent is special. It touches, it just touches the circle. It, and it always lies outside the circle. Okay. So that's, that's just what secant and tangent are. Those are the definitions. Uh, that's how you identify them. Uh, let's see what else you have when it comes to properties of secant and tangent. Okay, so just terminology. Point of contact is the point at which the tangent touches the circle. So yeah, like you have a circle, you have a x, y is a tangent, it is just touching the outside. A is the point of contact. Self-explanatory, contact that is the point of contact. Normal, the definition is same as what you guys have studied in light wala chapter. Uh, jo bhi perpendicular hai, so the line containing the radius through the point of contact. So normal is always a perpendicular line. And the first theorem proves that only. Like jo bhi perpendicular hoga, that ends up being the radius of the circle. So sometimes it's also called normal. So if you come across a question talking about normal, you don't have to be confused. It's just perpendicular to the tangent. Length of the tangent, when we talk about length of the tangent, um, it is length from whatever point you consider to the point of contact. So like always measurements are done from point of contact till whatever other point you consider. Yeah. All right, first theorem. Tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Okay. So what is this theorem stating? So you have a circle. Tangent at any random point. Point of contact is A. So the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. So specifically the radius that's at the point of contact. So O is the center, OA will be the radius. So OA will be perpendicular to XY. So this is a fact, this is always the case. Easy, tangent and radius, always perpendicular. That is the theorem. How do you prove this theorem? So this is not like your normal geometry proof. This is more of a argumentative proof. Um, like it's not like you know you prove something congruent, similar result. Ajayga. It's not like that. It's a little more theoretical than that. So let's see how they're doing the proof. Uh, so to prove x y is perpendicular to O A, tangent perpendicular to the radius. Construction consider some random point Q uh, on x y other than so other than A basically point of contact and join OQ. Now talking about the proof. So I'll just do this proof on the whiteboard that will make more sense. So I'll just discuss what they've done in the proof, then we'll go through it so that you see how to present the proof. Okay. So for now, don't write anything. I'll give you guys time for writing. So now just like pay attention here, okay? Circle here. 
We're drawing a tangent. And here pe radius at the point of contact should be perpendicular. Okay. O is the center. Point of contact, let's say this is A. X, this is Y. So for the proof, we are taking a random point Q, which is other than the point of contact, should lie on the tangent and join OQ. So the way this proof, you figure out this proof, it, uh, it depends on the knowledge of one fact, okay? I think like when we were discussing triangles chapter, I remember there was like some similar problem also. So whenever, okay, let's say you have a line and you have a random point outside the line, then is point say, you can draw many different lines, uh, segments from here to here. So each of them will make a different angle to it, right? Now, out of all these lines, let's call this P and let's call this Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. Out of all these lines, which is the shortest line? So Thru is saying PQ3. The line which is perpendicular. PQ3. PQ3. Okay. Puneet Alina Mansi, uh, like, is your answer? Uh, Q3. PQ3. PQ3. Everybody is agreeing PQ3. Why is this the shortest? What is the reasoning behind it? Because it's not stretching. 90 degrees of perpendicular. Let me phrase it this way. Why should perpendicular line be the shortest line? Because it's the shortest path or something like, because it's not stretching, it's just there. It's not slant, it's straight direct. Like, I'll take a slanting line. Tabi, which will they be the shortest line? No, a perpendicular is basically the shortest distance from a point to a line. Correct, you're right. I'm asking the reason for that. Like, how did you come to that conclusion? Think, just focus on any one triangle. Okay. So think of P, Q3, Q4. Other side will be hypotenuse, which will be always greater. Hmm. So no matter what line you take other than the perpendicular, that will always be the hypotenuse for this particular right angle triangle. Yeah, pe agar 90 degrees ban gaya to. So that way, perpendicular is the shortest distance uh, from any specific point to the line. Okay. So that fact you need to be clear about, like you should know that. So now let's get back to our circle situation. Okay. So except for point of contact, if I take any other point, so in this case, I'm taking random Q. Will that be, so any point Q on the tangent, will that be inside or outside the circle? Is that an internal point or an external point? Always external. external. Always external. Because tangent touches at only one point to the circle. So all the other points will be external. Absolutely. They're all going to be external, right? So if I compare the lengths, uh, 
so oa is the radius right if i compare oa and oq so can you tell me what the equation like will they be equal greater than less than what will it be oa will always be shorter than oq where yeah. q is any other point on the tangent hmm. the only reason that oa is equal to r and wherever i take q except for on a it also always going to be an external point remember tangent is always outside it touches the circle only at one point so only at oa it will be the distance will be r other than at point a wherever i take q it's going it's always going to be greater than radius which means oa is the shortest distance from the point o to the line xy which is the tangent so agar shortest distance hai that means that that particular line should be perpendicular to the tangent here so that's how you prove that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You wanna note the theorem down now? We look at the statements. So, if anything doesn't make sense, no. Like, agar like, if you if you have any doubt of like, ye step se ye step kaise gaye. then let me know abhi a uh, figure may when you're noting down just make this correction this should be p because whatever text is given here is according to p but figure may it's given as a this change this to p so o is the center xy is the tangent so a point of contact p to prove xy perpendicular to op construction take a point q on xy other than p and draw an oq proof this is whatever we discussed abhi if the point p q lies inside the circle then xy will become the secant so yahi bola na humne so tangent is always external like agar radius se kam hai if it's an internal point to then this line would be inside it won't be the tangent anymore so q will always lie outside the circle which means the radius is smaller than oq and this is true for all the points on the line xy except for p q wherever it may be all these points are outside the circle only except for p so op is the shortest distance shortest distance matlab it is going to be the perpendicular Okay, let me know when you're done, and then we'll discuss the second theorem.
we are writing the proof yeah i thought you were are you not no no i i am writing i was just confirming just for a second ha huh. i was just waiting for you guys to be like complete writing it then i can just a minute ma'am almost done okay so you guys can like either say it on mic or you can give a reaction or put it on chat just let me know somehow that you're ready and then we'll look at the next theorem okay mansi is done puneet also is done okay There's two people. Okay, Lena is also done. Dhruv is done. Okay. Right. Anirban Neki. Nikki's also done. Okay, and Irvan also done. ठीक है, right. Okay, Anirban, are you done or uh, do you have a question? No, I'm done. Okay. Okay. Next theorem. Let's see what it says. The lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Okay, let's treat this as a proper like question, and then solve it. Okay, because this is like your regular proof only. Ah, uh, our congruency, like use all of that, and then solve it. Ah, jayga. So the theorem states that uh, the length. of tangents drawn from an external point are equal okay so figure so tangent matlab circle hona chahiye 
So the tangents are drawn from an external point. So if I say this is my external point, let's draw tangents from that. So this is one circle ko touch karna. Then I can draw another one. Can I draw any more tangents from this point? No, ma'am. No. Hmm, maximum P ho sakta hai. Yeah. So if I say this is P, call the center of circle O. Uh, let's say this is A and this is B. Points of contacts. So what is, so you given is that we have PA and PB are tangents from P. Same external point P. Now, what is to be proven? To prove kya ho guys mein? PA is equal to PB. Ha, PA should be equal to PB. Because lengths are equal. That's what we need to prove. Length PA equal to length PB. Um, so, is me construction karte to make our proof easier. Let's draw the radius from PA, like from O to A and B. So, construction draw uh basically join oa and ob let's say because o and a already points here so join oa and ob is there anything else you guys want to do construction ke liye? we can join op op okay that's good kyunki fir we'll get like two triangles and then we can see if we can use congruency for that also join OP. Okay. Proof. So you guys take the lead on this. Kya karna hai mujhe? What's the first step? Miss, so we can take two triangles, APO and BPO. Consider triangle. So in that we know. APO and triangle BPO. Theek hai. Isme? In that OP is equal to OP is equal to triangle AOP. Ha, ek minute, ek minute. So OP equal to OP equal to OBP. OBP is equal to OAP because they both are uh, 90 degrees due to the first theorem. Yes. So equal to and 90 OP degrees. Is equal, OP is common. OP common liklia? So by RHS. Which is the third condition? OA equals OB because the other radii have the same sum. Ah, nice. OA equal to OB. Uh, both are the radii. Yeah. Radii of the same circle. So, so we have right angle. Uh, hypotenuse is OP. Side OA equal to OB. Yes, you're absolutely right. So by RHS, we have triangle APO is, equal, uh, is congruent to triangle BPO. Okay, and then oh okay, yeah, proof from CPCT we can say that PA equals PP. Yes, corresponding parts of congruent triangles you get PA equal to PB, and it's proved. Asan hai. Oh okay. yeah. Nice. Okay. Note this down. Uh. Once we're done with this theorem, let me check if there's anything else. There's a few points to remember. We'll discuss that and then we'll get started on questions. Okay. Now, Viz, let me know when you're done. Achha, dhruv, nahi hai, pehle ka hai. So once you're finished noting the proof, then we'll start questions. This chapter circles is uh, like geometry. Mein this year, you just have two chapters and constructions also. Uh, compared to triangles, this chapter is a lot easier. 
and especially having done grade nine ka circles, this becomes like even more equal. So Alina and Puneet has completed, okay. Ma'am, even I had uh, oh, put up a thumbs up. Hand. Oh, okay. And but then you lowered it. No, mm -hmm. so some reactions, uh, they automatically go away after like 30 seconds or something like that. So sometimes I might miss it out. Okay. Okay, I think everybody's done. So uh, even I am done, yeah. Ah, uh, Puneet, Alina, Dhruv, Mansi, Neki, Anirban. Okay. Excellent. Ah, uh, where is the chapter marks? Hmm. So some points to remember: a tangent intersects the circle at only one point. So this is from the definition we we got that. Uh, there can be only one tangent at any point on the circle. So basically, if I have a circle, so going through this point, you can only draw one tangent. If you change the angle any little bit, like if you draw another line, draw karna hai, toh, like, it, it's going to be slanted. It's going to be a different angle, right? So if you change the angle slightly, even a little bit, it becomes a secant. It's going to go through the circle. It won't like just touch the circle. So at any one point on the circle, there can be only one tangent. Third point, there can be only two tangents that can be drawn to the circle from a point outside it. So external point here, so you can draw two tangents. You guys have already figured out you knew. Uh, there is no tangent to a circle from a point inside the circle. So if there is a, like if tangent cannot exist inside the circle, so agar, even if I take any random point here, I cannot draw a tangent from the inside. If two tangents are drawn from a point outside the circle, the line joining the center uh, to the point bisects the angle between the two tangents. This you guys can prove easily extension of your previous thing. So basically have a circle. Yaha se, let's say I draw two tangents. You prove that in donum ka length is equal. What this is saying is if I join center to this point, then this becomes the angle bisector. So basically, this angle will be equal to this angle, is what it says. Uh, can you tell me how you will get this result? Yeah, angle, like we how just uh, get it in the proof of theorem. Yes. CPCT. Yes. CPCT may you get the remaining sides angles also will be equal. So you used two sides equal for that for the theorem. So apart from that, you'll also get these two angles equal. You can also say that these two angles are equal. So you can like use all of them. Yeah. So just some extra points will help you in solving questions, get some understanding of it. Okay. So how are you guys feeling now? Uh, should we, do you want to switch start problems right now? Or do you want to take like two, three minutes before starting?
बोलो लाइक इफ यू आर फीलिंग फ्रेश इफ यू आर नॉट लाइक इफ यू कैन स्टार्ट गेट इन टू प्रॉब्लम अभी विल स्टार्ट इट ऑफ बट इफ यू थिंक दैट ओके थोड़ा सा ब्रेक चाहिए यू बिन दैटेड फॉर लाइक फिफ्टी मिनट्स देन ब्रेक ले सकते हैं बताओ स्टार्ट नाउ और नो मैम लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक हम ब्रेक ओके ये 51 हो रहा है ना 5 मिनट्स 355 को विल रेज्यूम ठीक है